Hello everyone, welcome to Pug Muscle. My name is Pug Muscle. We're playing Everybody's Gone to the Rapture. This is a game I've been seeing on the PlayStation Network, and I'm sure it's available on other uh, systems, PC, and probably Xbox One and stuff like that. But I've been seeing it on the PlayStation Network for a while lately. I've been very intrigued, and this month it's one of the PS Plus free games of the month. So I was very happy to actually be able to get it for free instead of having to pay, I think it's only like maybe $15 or $20. It's really not that expensive. Um, but I have no idea what it's about besides the title and a couple of screenshots. I've never watched anything on it, so I'm really excited and curious to get into this game. So here we go. Confirm. All right. So let's see. We start. The emergency may occur with little or no warning. Being prepared to meet any emergency may be key to survival. Settings. Make sure you have the safety environment case. Invert. Okay. I already did all this. All right. So we're going to start here. This is Dr. Catherine Collins. Hi, Catherine. I don't know if anyone will ever hear this. Well, we'll see. I'm hearing this. It's all over. Everything? All of it? I'm the only one left. You sure about that? Left after what? I'm assuming the rapture is what she means. Oh, this is really nice. The Chinese room presents. Can we just take a moment to appreciate the soundtrack real quick? I'm already excited. I'm really drawn into this a lot right now. This is phenomenal. Already I'm excited. Oh, oh, okay. That's me. It's, it, ooh, it's that boy. Man, that, that right there is beautiful. Just amazing. I'm assuming I can't go down there. No, okay, cool. So I'm assuming I'm Catherine. And probably my bike sounds like the stuff we heard at the beginning. Open the door. I'm going to continue to broadcast for as long as I am able. Oh. If I'm right, we should be able to pick up the signal right across the valley. The event has left markers. Really? What kind of markers? We don't understand it yet, but we're going to keep working to try and understand it. Okay. You can use them to find what you're looking for. The answers. Oh, it echoes. That's they're nice. They're all here. The answers are in the light. In the light. Okay. The answers are in the light. So say, that's a really long table. All right, so now yeah, let's see. Barton Valley, Lover's Walk. Uh, I wonder if that's okay. So I don't. Oh, there we are. We are here. Observatory. Huh. So, okay, there's a phone obviously ringing. I'm not. I don't. Hi. So that looks like the observatory. What? It's a really old keyboard, by the way. It's like a Commodore. Uh, Alright, that's uh, disturbing. What's that tape? I'm going to oh. continue to broad. Alright, alright. Heard that. Hmm. All right, thanks. Okay, looks like constellations of some sort. You have Scorpius and Sagittarius. I wonder if those have some significance. 
Let's take a walk around outside. Can we take my bike? Nope. What is what is that? Oh. What was that? My, my controller vibrated. This is a special announcement by the Emergency Measures Committee. Okay. Due to exceptional circumstances, radio and television in this area has been brought under the control of the EMC as per the Crisis Preparedness and Action Bill of 1982. Okay. Keep your radio and television on at all times. Stay indoors and avoid contact with other people. Do Why? not attempt to telephone outside your local area. Do not panic and remain civil and calm. Oh. Stay tuned to this station for updates. Okay, thanks for the call. What year is this, by the way? That's a huge cell phone. I remember my, my mother had one of those for work back when I was a kid. And it came in and it had a little briefcase. And it was a giant battery. Okay, so what do we got down here? I wonder if I was putting these up. Strict area, keep out. Ah, it looks like we're in uh, England or somewhere that has, they drive on the opposite side of the side of the road. Okay. Can I go through here? Okay, I'm assuming I, I they wants me to go up to the observatory, that thing. Which technically should be the highest point in our area. I can't run, so this is going to be a little bit of a walk. Uh, but I wonder why they, we don't want they don't want us to talk to anyone. If people have become uh, violent, or if there's been some other like outbreak of stuff, disease. Okay. That's not to do in anything. Hmm. This is interesting. Can't do nothing. Why? I like how that's just plugged in. What is plugged in? Guess there's no electricity being generated. Okay. So I need to come back in here. that over there what's that on the ground I can't zoom in or anything the answers in the light that's a giant um, sponge thing Controller vibrated again. There's tools here. Were those there earlier? Why did my controller vibrate? One second. Okay. I don't want to do that. Okay. Oh. Oh, hi. Why did my controller vibrate just a little while ago? Can I do something? It vibrated right around here. I noticed those tools. Uh, I'm gonna mess around with everything and see what I can figure out and I will Come back to then, all right? Oh. Okay, didn't notice these steps before, so I'm assuming we need to go this way. I wonder why my controller's... Vo what was that noise? I wonder why my controller's vibrating every so often. This game is really pretty. I don't know what y'all think, but come on. It's amazing. Nothing over here to grab. What? Whoa, whoa. 
Whoa. I don't know what... I'm trying to do my job. You two will be the only staff on site for this rotation. I'm just saying, if the main gate's power fails, then there's no way in or out of the observatory. That's why there are backup generators. Jesus, why the hell are we even discussing this? Just don't you come running to me if you get locked in. If we get locked in, we won't be able to come running to you, will we? You let us worry about the clever stuff, and you can concentrate on sweeping up leaves and changing light bulbs. The that person's not very nice. Piss off. Not very nice at all. He's an arsehole. That was unnecessary. Just because you're angry with me doesn't mean you have to take it out on everyone else. Kate, can we just talk about this? No. Steven, I'm done. I just want to get out of this place, and tonight is our best chance of doing that. You prep the arrays. I'm heading up to Tower 6. Kate. I love you. No. You know that, right? Uh-oh. Yeah, I know that. They're not happy with each other. Okay. Okay, so... I, I don't know what it was meaning by tilt. Like, if it really wanted me to tilt my game controller. Uh, but I'm wondering if I actually missed a couple and didn't realize it. Um, oh, we're saving now. Since over there, my controller vibrated a couple times. Uh, what is that? That's a rock. So, like she said, answers are in the light. Assuming that's what they meant. But that light just unlocked that gate for us. Uh, I'm going to go check something. I'll be right back. Okay. So that was nothing. I went to back where those tools were by the main gate. Tried to find, see if there's a light over there. But couldn't find anything. So now we're moving on down this path. Oh, okay. So we're going around. And actually, I wonder if we're actually getting out right now. Oh, hi. So we got a... I, I'm not... Jeremy. It's not... Okay. Oh, no. Where'd it go? Sun is setting pretty quick. Uh oh. Hi. Where are you going? Well, I suppose from that we can assume that they really are serious about this whole quarantine thing. If Mrs. Balton wandered off that way before they closed the road, I suspect we'll never find her. Not until this whole thing blows over. But it's more than a little odd. I mean, this is Yorton, for goodness sake. There was no need for them to be so rude. Well, if they are so concerned that they are willing to close off the roads, I suspect they would argue that there is every need. What is certain is that for the time being, none of us are going anywhere. But he had a rifle, a soldier with a rifle in Shropshire. The world's gone stark raving mad. I have a good mind to write to my MP. You do that, Bob, and I'll personally deliver it for you. Once this blockade is removed, anyway. Come on, Bob. I can't spend all day chasing pensioners around the valley. The surgery won't open itself. I need to grab some paracetamol when we get back as well. Fucking headache all of a sudden. Huh. It's very interesting, so... There's a lot of unexpectedness to this quarantine business going on. God, this is pretty... Look at this. This game is just beautiful. Okay, I'm going to go to that paper and check out what's that over there. Who's that? Hello? Kate, if you can... Oh! Who's that? Hello? Kate, I hung up on him, actually. You need to shut down the optical array. It's using the observatory as a conduit to reach us, and it started spreading its range beyond the valley. Kate, we can't afford to let it do that. It's getting stronger. I'm going to call Clive back, and I'm going to force him to order the strike. I just don't see what other choice we have. God knows Clive, if can you hear me? We need help. Who are you? Jesus, get off the floor! Get off the floor! Who's that? Hello? Kate, if 
you can hear this, you need to shut down the optical array. It's using the observatory as a conduit. I hung up and I now I picked it up to see if it would do it again. Kate, we can't afford to let it do that. It's getting stronger. I'm going to call Clive back and I'm going to force him to order the strike. I just don't see what other choice we have. God knows Hello, if can you hear me? We need help. Who are you? Okay. Let's bike. I can't really read that one. So that was really interesting. So it's in the phones. I wonder. That looked like a person, Cormaya, for a second. If it's. It sounds like something's attacking, you know, like maybe. Something's attacking things. in the car. I... Oh. I do have to turn my controller. I don't know why. Okay, that kind of... Don't be so hard on yourself. We've all had rejections. You haven't. <laughs> Come on. We'll look at the figures, tighten up the data, and resubmit. Your core idea is sound. You just got the numbers slightly wrong. Don't patronize me. I'm not patronizing you. I think you are a brilliant man, Dr. Appleton. Listen. I'm here, right? We're together, you and me. The alignment event tomorrow. It's yours, okay? You saw the opportunity, you ran the numbers. Even if they can't see it. I'm proud of you. Is that supposed to make me feel better? See you then. Look on the bright side, I'm around here. <laughs> You're a hero. Prodigal son returns, right? <laughs> I'm surprised they haven't erected a statue in your honor yet. <laughs> oh, you can laugh all you want. But I'll bet the parish council have a subcommittee working on that right now. <laughs> Aw, are they hugging each other? Sounds like a... Okay, now we're back to normal. So whatever we're interacting with seems to be controlling a... Uh, Daylight and time and stuff. Seems like another... Oh, wow. The soundtrack in this game is just amazing. I wonder if I can go to the... here. Whoa, I can. Hail of the day. Ships, that's kind of... Career. Huh. Is that an ominous turn that just happened? Oh, hi. Yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming, I know. Where are you going? So... I guess I'll go over here. I know it... Shepherd's Walk. Okay, you're... What are you doing? Where are you going? Are you looking for something? That's a nice little truck right there. I like that a lot. Is I supposed to go in here? I think so. Hello? Oh. Hello? Oh, Amanda, I thought you'd left town. We tried. We did try, but they've closed all the roads and you can't get through, and 
Oh, what is that? And then Georgie and Ben said they had headaches. It's blood. And then they started bleeding. And... Oh my God. <laughs> it was horrible. They were so scared. So Neil turned the car around and um, we saw the house was open. And I know we shouldn't have, but we just came in to clean up the kids. And, and then Neil and I started bleeding as well. And it is all over my blouse. Everyone was so tired. It's all right, Amanda. Everything will be all right. Just try and calm down and tell me where Neil and the children are. They're upstairs. They were tired and Neil said they could take a nap in the bed. And you know, we thought Barbara wouldn't mind if there were any children. And, and I was so tired, so Neil took them up. He took them upstairs to tuck them in. And? That was six hours ago. Oh my Never God. came back down. Never came back down? It's been too frightened to come along. Well, guess what I'm going to go do. Together. Oh. Hold your hand if you like. <laughs> yeah. I think I could manage that, yes. Okay. I think we're both... Please help me. Of course I'll help you. It's horrible. Neil? Neil, are you there? What's that noise? Things around again. What's going on? It's bear. Simon says. Bloody tissue. Okay, nothing really in here. Okay, that's locked. It's locked too. Oh, lights work here. So I wonder if like... <laughs> okay. So what's going on? We come up here and there's nothing here. There's bloody towels and stuff. Every other than that, everything's very this is a very flowery room, by the way. There's all the flowers. Not a bad thing. Is that something moving over there? No, I think it's just part of the where the game is. Okay, that's really weird. Do they, you know, with with it being all right? Valis, say no to Valis extension. Is a seventh tower really necessary to register your complaint and your name? All right. Okay. Hey, look. I think this is actually open. Wow, so I'm going to have to leave this right here and we'll continue in the next episode. But man, this game is very intriguing. We've learned a lot about, excuse me, Jeremy and Catherine. And and we're starting to understand what happened with this town. Um, And is it just with this town or is it the entire world? Um, someone discovered something. The doctor discovered something. We don't know what yet. There's something that's traveling through the phones. We got this light that's coming around and showing us everything. And then there's, it's like stored memories in this light that's telling us, showing us things. There's light on in that bedroom, but we can't get up there. I was trying to see if we could see in that window, but it doesn't look like it can. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot... A lot going on in this game so far and, and, and for us to discover, but I'm really enjoying this. I hope you all are too. If you are, just leave a like and leave a comment down at the bottom and let me know what you think's going on with the game uh, or what's happening, what's happening in this world, what's happening. Who are we? Are we Catherine? Or are we someone else? Are we the doctor? Um, or are we just a bystander who just stumbled upon this place after a rapture and 
the rapture and then you know there's we don't just trying to figure out what's going on ourselves so anyways thank you all for watching if you like this video again please leave a like down at the bottom if you want to see more just hit subscribe i want to thank you again for watching and i hope you have a great day